Hi there, Sierra Loves Dogs. I'm so glad you're here. We're in a new place. This is my cabin and I'm gonna be doing a decluttering video. If you are new to my channel, I am all over the place. I've done some decluttering videos, I've done some travel vlogs, and I just started a new series, No Before You Go. But today I'm at our family cabin and I thought I would attack the liquor cabinet. I've tried different techniques for decluttering in the bedroom. I tried the KonMari method. I tried the uh, seven second rule, all these different things. Um, the kitchen might be a little different because it's not as sentimental. So I'm hoping this is gonna go a little easier as in if it's bad, throw it out and <laughs> maybe just smell it. The smell test, can that work in the kitchen? I peeked in there not too long ago and I think some of these decisions are gonna be pretty easy. So should we take a look? Drum roll please, and voila, what do we have here? Easily towards the front are some things that we brought up. These are Tito's, Woodford. These are bottles that we're working on that um, I know we've brought up in the last year or so, so I'm gonna keep those. I found a Cuervo in there. This doesn't look super old, but look how much is left. I mean, that's not worth saving. Maybe I should just drink it tonight. I pulled out the ones that I feel like we brought up and have uh, been using the last year or so. This is where it gets interesting. This is a Dita Arturo Vacari. It's a liqueur from Italy. I mean, do liqueurs go bad? Let's do the sniff test. Oh, this is like, it's like a limoncello. What is this? I bet this is pretty good. Maybe I'll taste it. I found a little baby beer glass that I can taste things with. I mean, I think it's like a, a limoncello. It doesn't say, I mean, I can't read whatever language this is, but it's from New York. Mm. It says artificially colored. Oh yeah, that's like a limoncello. I think that's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, I'll keep that. Maybe I'll drink a little more. Cheers. Okay, this is a margarita mix, but it's, I feel like margarita, this is the wrong color for margarita mix. Uh, best by September 18. Uh, so this is five years old. I'm I'm gonna dump this. Vermouth. I don't think anyone in our family's really drinking vermouth that comes up here. This was a, a Manhattan, my dad and my grandfather, I think used to have Manhattans with vermouth, but no one, no one's really drinking vermouth. So I'm guessing this is old, so this is gonna go. Okay, what color do you think pina colada mix should be? <laughs> Should it be brown? I'm guessing no, this has got to go. What's the date on this? I don't know, I couldn't find a date, but I like this limoncello. We're pretty good. A dry and a sweet and a sweet. So we got lots of vermouth and I think it's all going. When was the last time you heard somebody order this drink? A Harvey wall banger. Check out this bottle. I mean, I feel like somebody could use this as a prop in a Stranger Things episode. <laughs> it's like straight out of the 70s. Kettle One Vodka, or Kettle One, wait, what is this? Kettle One Gestuk Ambach Telgugendlicher. It's from Holland and I'm not saying it right. I'm guessing this has been in there a while. I mean, it's alcohol though, like it doesn't go bad. Smells like vodka. Should I try it? <laughs> okay, here's another one I think has been in there for a decade or more. Bloody Mary mix. Check this out. I just pulled this out. I think it's like a little, it's a little outfit for a bottle. It's like a little Dutch outfit. So you don't have a naked bottle. It's like a little apron. They can wear it. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey, but should I keep this? I mean, it's cute and there are a lot of Dutch memorabilia items in this house because we're a Dutch family, but I mean, it's been in there for a decade or more. Nobody knew about it. I mean, maybe I'll wash it. I don't know. What should I do with it? Here's a bottle. Price tag on it says 339, so $3.39 maybe. It appears to be, I'm guessing Japanese. I'm guessing this is sake, but how old is this gonna be? Oh yeah, it's a sake. I mean, that can that be good? Does sake go bad? I don't know. I mean, it's it looks like a nice bottle. Anybody know? Okay, and here's a little half craft. I mean, that's 
fun to hang on to. Okay, this is fun. It's a shaker with all drink recipes on it. Isn't that cute? But there's no filter where you put the ice and separate it from the drink. So maybe it's not much of a shaker. I don't know. This is a very cute bottle of white wine. Look at the label, except it says white wine and look at the color. Oh yeah, <laughs> this wine is definitely no longer lily pad white wine. I think I'm gonna dump this gin, even though it's probably fine. We're just not a bunch of gin drinkers and it just looks like an old dur bottle and looks like cheap gin. So I'm gonna just toss it. Same thing with this scotch. I mean, well, first of all, there's hardly anything left, but the bottle just looks old and smells bad. Here's another Dutch bottle. This actually, I mean, it's glass versus plastic. Um, I wish I could read it. Does anybody know what this is? I feel like this might be good. I'm gonna, should I try it? I'm looking for a date. How old is this? Okay, look at this shot glass. I just found somebody like etched and hand wrote the ounces on there. I'm guessing that was my dad. That's something that he would have done. Vodka? What is this? I think it's probably good. And these are all on the side. An official old Boston deluxe official bartender's guide. This looks kind of fun, but all this stuff is on, on the internet now. So I don't know if I'm going to keep any of this. They're all just, I think they're just drink recipes. I might see if anything looks super special. Serving trays. Apparently you can never have too much apple cider vinegar. <laughs> this is in the back of the liquor cabinet. This looks like another shirt for a bottle. My grandfather's name was Leo and this has his um, name on it. This looks like it would fit over like a little beer bottle or something. And then I'm not sure what the arms are for, <laughs> but I guess uh, my grandparents like to dress up alcohol. Was that a thing? And a few more serving trays, Heineken and Christmas. We got all the trays. This is also in there and it's um, a big tube that I'm guessing had wrapping paper or something wrapped around it. And then it's stuffed with um, plastic bags. <laughs> so. I might actually take the plastic bags out and use them because you can't really get them anymore, but then I'm not gonna hang on to this. I will just get recycled. Okay, so I'm gonna pour out most of this stuff and then recycle the bottles. The items I'm kind of debating on are this, just because it's such a nice size, but again, it doesn't have the strainer in it, and do we really need all the recipes? I don't know, it just feels, um, it feels expensive. I am also debating about the little alcohol clothes <laughs> because I don't know why why can't I just get rid of these I feel like I need to hang on to them I don't know I'm gonna take them home and wash them I might just have a little more of this limoncello that's pretty good cheers since we're in the kitchen I thought I'd share something fun that my kids always get a kick out of Have you ever seen a working microwave with a dial instead of a push button timer. So this one, you close it, and then here's your dial, and then you kind of have to <laughs> push it in. And then I'm sure there are actual microwaves coming off of it right now. So I probably shouldn't stand in front of it. <laughs> I mean, look at this beauty. It's got the sunburst clock, micromatic, micro range with the dial to start it. Uh, pretty amazing here. And when it's done, listen to this ding. Isn't that sweet? So I thought I was done and I'm not. There's a part two. <laughs> I did not expect this to be a two part video, but just due to the length of it, discovering that second cabinet, if you wanna see what was up in that second cabinet, you're gonna have to watch next week's video where I will continue exploring the random liquor in my grandparents' cabin. If you would like to join me on my YouTube journey to figure out what the heck I'm doing here, uh, I would love for you to consider subscribing. What my content seems to be is a random assortment of travel vlogs. I just started a new series called Know Before You Go and then decluttering and sorting. So I've been working on my bedroom. I just started going through some of the cabin things and I have a lot of accumulated items in my life and 
would love for you to join me as I sort through them and try different techniques and discover what's hidden in all of these cabinets and nooks. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you next time. Okay, I've got a postscript here. I've done some research. Kettle One Vodka and all vodkas are shelf stable when opened 10 to 20 years. So there's not that much left in here, but we could probably make three or four drinks out of it. So I'm gonna keep this. Who knew? Sake, even though the bottle is unopened, is only good for four to five years if unopened. And I'm guessing this is much older than four to five years.